So here we go. Cardiff Devils against the Guildford Flames. The Devils aiming to go back to the top of the mountain. And Fournier gets an early pass to Hedden. He'll dump this in and chase it down and get there. Ling Lei uses his body to shield that pack, but he's then dispossessed. And now Guildford will come the other way and just take their time a little bit. Martin. Ling Lei throws it into the crease. And that's well held by Chris Carosi. Lovely one-touch passing from the Flames as Dunbar comes straight across the left wing, bounce saves, it's loose Dunbar, and he can't put it away. Hedden. Ling Lei, 48, into the slot and Hedden puts it away. The Devils, the first to strike on New Year's Day and go into a one nothing lead. The way this game started, you could have bet on any team to really get the opening goal, but it will be the Cardiff Devils. Great work from Charles Lingley, just to ring that one around the board, and just very smart play from him and Hedden as well. Fournier tries to feed Dixon out front, just sl somehow gets back to Mike Hedden, just snipes that one past the goaltender. It's a one nothing game, and Fournier, 11 games in a row now with a point. Mosey back into the crease, still loose. Carosi tracks it and puts his glove on. Carosi has been very strong under pressure. Bryce Reddick clears around the boards, but Janssen gets there first, but it falls to Dixon. And now he sends Mosey, who's got another breakaway attempt. And it's a save. He got the shot off. So it will just be a two minute power play. It won't be a penalty shot. If he had gone down, I think they probably would have been caused to have given it. As Ben Davis is now killing some. Power play seconds, it's 50 seconds of power play time left as Schistel comes over with Dixon. It's loose, Scorosi saves, Dixon with a chance, and it squeaks wide. Richardson. Schistel with a shot, Richardson, and it goes wide again, the goal was gaping. Fournier, cut out of the blue line, and now it's just for Dunbar. Bear in bounds, doesn't hold on, and it's thrown right back out in front of his crease. Lays it back for Mark Lewis, and he shoots wide once more. And now the players come right back down the other end, and Matthew Myers is it escapes to try and get through, and now there's a collision, and a penalty is going to be called. That looked a heavy one into the goal frame. Yeah, luckily it looks like Ben Bounds is going to be okay on that one, but it is one of the Flames players very slow to get up. So you see here now, Matthew Myers, he's dog-tired after that shift. A bit of a battle as well going on with Cruz Reddit, but Lewis and I think, I think that's Jamie Crooks colliding behind the net. Crooks still down on one knee right now, but now back on his feet. That's good to see. But it is going to be a penalty against Mark Lewis by the looks of the referees. Been a bit of a discussion though. Fournier again to space on this side, and the Devils have made a couple of changes. Ling Lay's pass is loose, but he does recover well. This time he drives, and this time he scores! No finesse this time from Charles Ling Lay. Just pure power to double the Devils' lead. Wicked release here from Charles Lingley to get that one off. He was tired after a long shift as well. You can see on the turnover, he was going for a change, but does well to intercept. It stays with the play and stays alive. You can see he's thinking about trying to take them on and go uh, past the one on two because winds up. Why is that one past Chris Garozzi? Heavy, heavy shot from Lingley. It's a 2 0 game. Excellent kill. Pretty poor power play as well for the Flames. Just too much time in her own end, just trying to burn around that could all change here as Foster spins around and now he has time to set up and he's found a backdoor play bounce with a save it's loose right there and it does find its way through does it there was a few Flames fans with their hands in the air the official does not point towards the net but I have a feeling we may be going to the TV review here there's a conversation happening behind that net between the officials I think if there's any area of doubt, you have to review it. If you see it's going to bounce off Ferguson, if you look at the bottom of your picture now, it's in the paint, so it's not across the line. Doesn't look as though it's going to be reviewed. You may have a better look behind the net here now. Bounds very aggressive coming across 
bounces off as that read it, but it's that leg sweep of Ben Bounce keeps out from crossing the line. So whether or not the referees had a better view from where they are and didn't think it needed a review, I think even if it did go to review, would have come out in Devil's favour. The Flames have done well to win the draw and thus gain themselves a foothold to set their power play up. And how dangerous it can be! And there it is! They've eaten into the lead! It's two to one. That's what I said, that the Flames need to do a lot more there. Got that puck movement going, the passing's going well, and it is a wicked release from Jamie Crooks who to get this power play goal now that's his sixth of the year for Crooks great pass and movement there Brett Ferguson with the primary assist on that one very early on in the power play as well 2-1 game and now it's the Devils turn for a couple of neat interchange passes now Mosey puts it into Alma who drives and Rosie saw that one all the way and there seems to be a renewed bit of optimism to this Guildford Flames first line as Dunbar's going to drive towards net. There's a chance, there's a goal! John Dunbar with some excellent work down the right wing. His feed is put away and it's all square. Dogged determination from John Dunbar. As you look, he gets the puck here, kicks it to himself. And he's being hooked all the way from Bryce Reddick. Manages to find Evan Janssen, who's just going to wire that one past Ben Bounds. Not too much a bounce could have done on that one, but it is going to be a two-hole game. Great few minutes of play here from the Guildford Flames. Pope with a good body play there. Richardson shoots, Garozzi spills it, and Pope can't put the rebound away. Dixon couldn't get the puck out of his feet now. Guilford move forward, this great back door, Ben Davis lurking, and now it's coming right the other way, Dixon's in on goal, and he goes block aside, and there are sticks and bodies and goaltenders and nets everywhere, Ben Devolio, Martin, Fournier, Ben Devolio is now trying to outweigh Corozzi and now Fournier through traffic. Schistel. Schistel shoots and scores! They do capitalise on the power play and they do regain the lead. It's 3-2. to two. What a difference Drew Schistel has made for this team since coming in mid-season. Fantastic shot there, just nobody gets a tip in front. Sails all the way past Chris Carosi. You look here now, just pass and move. Schistel gets it at the point, goes to the top of the circle. And Ben Davis does it, does his best to try and get something on that one. That's just going to sail over him and into the back of the net. It's a 3-2 game, crucial power play goal. Hedden. Feels he has the jump on Crooks and doesn't have the beat of the Corozzi this time. Wicked bounce off the boards, almost catches out bounds who had elected to try and get around the net to help his team. And that's very calmly done by Mark Lewis who fires if Relmer and Corozzi seem to lose track of that puck right at the end. 12 seconds left, still time. Dixon tries to tie up his man, but Acura gets a chance and it's over the bar. The seconds are ticking down, it's a clearance, and there's not enough seconds to take the icing call. It is all over, and 2019 starts with a big victory for the Cardiff Devils, who return to top spot in the Elite League. It finishes Cardiff Devils 3, Guildford Flames 2.